Newton. Under its original name of Francheville was once the capital of the Isle of Wight. But in 1377, it was attacked by the French and burnt to the ground. The amazing thing is you can actually smell this beautiful salty air. Just really, really nice. When partially rebuilt, the name was changed to Newton and family came from all over the south of England to occupy the 70 or so plots in a newly constructed town. Now, as well as this town hall, there were also a pub, a school, a coast guard station and numerous shops. For many centuries after the rebirth, the town prospered and the local fish for oysters, made brine and manufactured bricks. They also reclaimed the marshes for their cattle. Now, come with me and explore what is left of this once prosperous Town. The grid reference for this walk is SZ424906. The Newton Arms was known locally as the Ark and a building has existed on this site since 1600. Part of this current building date from 1727. The pub closed in 1916 and now the village consists of the town hall, the church and a few cottages. The only evidence of a once thriving medieval seaport and market town are the names of the streets. Gold Street, Silver Street, Key Street, Drapers Alley, Market Fair. Come with me as we can still see lane and cutting that were busy street over 600 years ago.
these quiet mudflats with creeks winding silently through unspoiled countryside makes the Aira a beautiful spot for bird watching. The land and marshes near the creeks provide safe nestling places for countless sea and water birds, as the whole estuary and most of the surrounding land is now the property of the National Trust. Samphire is a sea vegetables that grows abundantly on these salty mud flats. It has a crisp texture and testes of the sea. It is sometimes called sea asparagus or sea picole. This is now as far as we can go. Uh, now that you had a good look at this beautiful arbor, please retrace your way to the wooden broadwalk uh, to the car park.